Something that you probably didn't see when I was running this line of code is this configuration that I have here. You can see that I have this TS config file and if you don't have it and you try to run the code like using the play button, then you'll get an error. So for instance, if I go here and just uh, delete this file, all right, and then I try to run it again, you can see that I have a big error here because I don't have this file. So I'm going to clear this and what I'm going to do is to create this file. Now you can create this file manually, but that would be a pain. What you can do is to use the TS compiler. So I'm going to go back to the terminal. As you can see here, if I click here, it'll take me back to the terminal and then I'm going to expand this a little bit and I want to do TSC. So this is how you invoke the TypeScript compiler by typing TSC and then I want to do dash and then in it. So what this is going to do, it's going to create this configuration file for me so that I don't have to do it myself and it's going to put some boilerplate code in there. So let's go ahead and run this. You can see to the left, I have this ts.config file. Now there's nothing really particular about this file. It's a very important file, by the way, but we're not going to worry about it at this point. So you can just create this file. You type in tsc dash in it, as you can see that I just did here, and then this file should be created. And then you can close this file. Like you don't even have to go in there at this point and then go ahead and run this. And you can see now you get the output. So make sure you do that. Otherwise, um, your code uh, will not work. So the first thing I want to cover is uh, comments. So I'm going to go ahead and collapse this. And we have this line of code here. And you can see that when we run it, we have something in the output. To create a comment in TypeScript, you can do two forward slashes. And then let's say this is a comment. And now if I go ahead and run this, you can see we have the same output. So this is completely ignored when we run the file because it's a comment and we can do another one. For instance, we can do a to do, we can say to do, and then we can say fix login bug or something. And if I go ahead and run it again, and you can see we have the same output and these two lines have completely been ignored. So this is for one line comment and you can also have multi line comment. And to do this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go down and then I'm going to do forward slash to asterisk. And you can see that it auto completes for me. And then I can go down a new line and then I can do this is a multi line comment. And then I can press enter to go down again. And you can see that it put the little asterisk for me and then I can keep going go down again. So this is how you can have multi-line uh, comments in TypeScript. So you put two forward slashes if you only want to have a one line comment and you put the forward slash two asterisks and then one asterisk for every line and then you end it with asterisk forward slash and then you can have as many lines as you want inside of this forward slash double asterisk and then asterisk forward slash. If I go ahead and run this you can see that we still get the ill world and all of these lines, they have completely been ignored and it's almost like they're not even there. So this is it for comments. They're really useful by the way, because sometimes you really have to comment your code. And as a developer, I remember a couple of times where I really had to put comments in the code because uh, the logic and the function was so complex and we didn't want someone uh, later to be so confused. Then we had to put a multi-line comment so that, you know, later if there's a developer that comes down the line, then they can look at it and understand what we're trying to do with this function.